I found this little wooden box in uh, the hobby store the other day and I just bring it home because I wanted to do something else than I normally do. So here it is. I want to decorate it so I am using this blue polymer clay and I am rolling it out on my pasta machine. I think it was a setting 5 that I used for that. So it's not that thick but it's not too thin either. I'm just cutting around this heart so that I have the heart shape lying on the plate here. I have this mold. This is just mold putty that I put out on a piece of sandpaper, a big grid sandpaper. When it was hardened I just peeled it off and I'm using that to put in some texture on the top of the heart here. I really like that. I rolled out a long strip of the clay and I'm using some Fimo liquid around the edge on the top of the box and also on the bottom of the box and then I'm just starting from the indent on the heart and then put it all around the heart making sure that it really is stuck on the sides I'm sorry that I'm a bit out of frame here um, just making sure that it is connected at the middle. Then I am carefully cutting off the rest of the clay here using my exacto knife. Um, I'm leaning it against the wood and then just kind of uh, slowly cutting through this extra um, polymer clay. I'm doing this on both sides and again I do this on the bottom part of this um, little box as well. So it's quite easy, just like that. Now I'm going to make some roses to decorate this top part here with and I am just cutting out 8 to 10 pieces of thin slices on this little cane here before I roll a tiny piece of clay into a kind of a um, oblong sized snake thing. Taking one of these pieces, squeezing it into my palm, hand palm and wrapping it around this little piece that I started with. I'm just going to continue doing this, squeezing um, the clay out in my hand to make it thinner and then just wrapping it around the rose. I think I've shown you this before but here it is again. And I'm just building up my little rose here
And when I like the result of my rows, I am just taking my X-Acto knife and cutting off the bottom part of it so it's flat in the bottom and placing it here on the hardware I like it to be. And I have some pick and bond underneath where I place the flower. Uh, you can use some uh, female liquid instead if you don't have pick and bond. I made a lot of roses and here I am going to show you how to make another kind of flower. Remember to have bacon bond or female liquid underneath before you continue with this. If you don't have that underneath, it will not stick to the baked surface. So remember to do that. I'm rolling all these small balls that I'm using. The first five were a bit bigger than the five I'm making here. So I'm just placing them on top of the first five, just like I'm showing here. And then I will end off with a tiny uh, ball in the middle here. I'm using a tiny piece of green clay and rolling it into a long, really thin snake. Uh, and I'm going to use that for decorating on the heart. So I'm just making some kind of swirly things and placing it like I want it here between the flowers that I made. And I do have some bacon bond underneath. I have some few leaves here from a cane I made a few years ago and I'm just dipping them into some female liquid and placing them between my roses and between these green snowy things and wherever I like to have a little leaf for this little decoration. And I continue to make flowers and roses and these green snakes all over the place on the heart just like I wanted to so I think it's nice and not too overfilled just keep working on it I also have these hearts that I made uh, also a few years ago and I'm just placing them here and there again with a tiny bit of pick and bond underneath I have some blue paint that match the blue clay very nice so I'm just going to paint the top of the lid here just on the edges to make sure that it's uh, covering all the wood in the edges so that it does not show underneath this uh, plate that we made. And I'm just going to color in the bottom of the box as well just to make it look a little more nice and neat. And then I'm going to let it dry before I glue on the top part. I am using my B6000 uh, glue. It is actually a very nice glue. So I'm just smearing that all over and placing the top part here on the box. Just like that, making sure it's all tight and good glued in there, on there. And that's all there is for this little craft. I'm sorry this is not a miniature, but I had fun with this. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.